There could soon be a new treatment for hair loss. Up to 50% of Americans will experience androgenetic alopecia, a kind of genetic hair loss. This week, researchers at UCI published a new study saying they have identified a molecule that could stimulate hair growth. Joining us this morning is UCI professor Maxim Palaikis, the study's corresponding author. Thanks for joining us today, sir. Uh, your team found a signaling molecule called SCOOB3. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Good morning, John, and thank you for having me. Uh, yes, um, in our research that focuses on hair growth, we came upon a very interesting uh, molecule that has not been previously known to play a role in hair growth. And what we have shown is that uh, it could potentially stimulate growth of new hair, both in mice and also in human hairs transplanted onto mice. So we're quite excited about it. So how would you apply any kind of treatment? Would you just like rub it into your head or, or would you have to take it through a, a needle or something like that? How would it work? Well, it, it will be something like what you said. It would be local delivery. Uh, ideally, it would be something that is painless. Um, depends on the molecule. Certain molecules could be applied simply topically. Other molecules that are larger in size would need to be microneedled. Uh, and these are semi, uh, you know, uncomfortable procedures, but uh, they still fairly easy to tolerate. Now, hair loss is something a lot of people experience as they get older. Um, is that who that would be targeted by this treatment or is it for a different type of uh, condition? Yeah. You mentioned androgenetic alopecia, um, but not only men, but women are affected by this condition, especially postmenopausal women, uh, and quite a large number of them across the United States. Uh, so both women and men uh, experiencing um, male uh, and female pattern baldness uh, would likely be the target uh, patients for this or similar treatments. Now, right now, there are two FDA-approved medications for hair loss. So how different is this compared to them? Well, it could be quite different. Uh, the FDA-approved medications uh, are approved only for uh, use in men. So uh, women currently do not have a designated medication for use um, for hair loss. So this could be a game changer uh, in the sense that it would widen that population. Uh, it, it is also a next generation treatment. Uh, it's treatment that's based on a deeper understanding of the molecular biology of how hairs work. We in, in many ways a reverse engineer hair growth and we identify the key uh, molecules that drive this hair loss normally. And these are the molecules that typically become depleted upon baldness. So then we uh, aim to deliver them to enrich skin and the scalp for those molecules. Well, Professor, I'm at that age where um, I see a guy with hair like yours. I say, boy, that guy's got great hair. Uh, how excited should I be? I don't want to get my hopes up. Don't get my hopes up. How long before we'll see something like this on the market? Well, thanks for a compliment. <laughs> I should return a compliment to you. Your hair looks great. <laughs> You can't see the back, Professor. So, <laughs> what you mentioned, what you mentioned, is that many men, uh, and good for them, they are they are comfortable with the way they look, and if they have hair loss and they own it, that's great for them. Um, I think it's very individual. You know, we have a complicated relationship with our hair, and um, we care about it in many ways. We care about you know going gray. We care about losing hair. And it has very strong psychological effect on many people. It could affect the social interactions. So I think anything that we can do to uh, make their life less stressful uh, between fires and COVID, uh, it would be great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, I, I was always surprised when I started, you know, getting thin. And it, boy, you start really thinking about it. So yeah, it does affect people in, in ways you just wouldn't think of. Uh, Professor, I hope it works. I hope there's something on the market soon that'll help people out. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me, John. Yeah.